all right, just going to do a video scripturally refuting these charismatic supposed visions of heaven and their trips to heaven and show how scripturally that cannot happen okay, for us today. Because all we need is the word of God. But to see these charismatics, they want to go beyond the word of God. They don't want to just go by scripture alone. They want to go by their feelings and experiences. So they go through a couple points. So like I said, some hyper-charismatics and Pentecostals will claim they had visions or even out-of-body experiences in which they saw heaven and even saw members of the Godhead. You go and you, you just punch it up on YouTube, visions of heaven or a trip to heaven or whatever. It's full of these videos. Uh, however, this is unscriptural. And another point I want to make as well, notice how each of these supposed visions of heaven are never the same. All, all of them are completely different from each other. Why? Because it's not scriptural. Okay, It's them either getting visions from demonic entities or them just making this stuff up. But here's a couple points I want to go through on the, the fact, because a lot of these guys claim they see Jesus Christ in heaven. Well, some problems with that. First of all, the apostles were the last to see the resurrected Christ. Okay, uh, Scripture on that. Acts chapter 1, verse 22. Beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. Okay, talking about the apostles there. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7 to 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7 to 8. After that, he was seen of James, and then, then of the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. Okay, The apostles were the last to see Jesus Christ in his glorified body, in his resurrected body. These charismatics who claim they've seen Jesus Christ. First of all, you're not supposed to have images of the Godhead. Acts chapter 17, verse uh, 29, I believe it is. Yet they somehow will actually draw these pictures of Jesus Christ, which mirror that you'll see in Roman Catholic churches, by the way, too. But any charismatic claims of seeing Jesus Christ today are contrary to these verses, because they were the last ones to have seen the uh, Christ in his resurrected body, the apostles were. Next point is that when Paul visited heaven, he was not able to repeat anything he heard while in heaven. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2 to 4. This one just destroys all these charismatic visions of heaven. Because Paul, when he went to heaven, he wasn't able to repeat anything he heard. Yet these charismatics are able to give these detailed descriptions of what they've seen. But it says here, um, uh, first of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2 to 4, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth. How, uh, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Okay? You can't utter this stuff. If you if, if if these charismatics were being taken to heaven, let's just say they were being taken up to heaven, they would not be able it would not be lawful for them to utter anything they've heard. You know, they weren't they wouldn't be able to make a YouTube video giving these detailed descriptions. Uh, but some of these charismatics are able who claim they visit heaven are able to give those detailed descriptions of what they supposedly heard, even though Paul said it wasn't lawful. Next point is that some of these charismatics claim they were atheists prior to their visions of heaven, and that the vision of heaven is what caused their conversion. This is contrary to the scriptural emphasis on walking by faith, not by sight. If you require signs and wonders to believe in Christ, you're no different than the Pharisees in Matthew chapter 12, verse 38 to 40, and Matthew chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, who are constantly demanding a sign from Jesus Christ. See, these charismatics, they're no different than the Pharisees. They, they are the spiritual descendants of the Pharisees, because the Pharisees were constantly demanding signs and wonders from Jesus Christ not wanting to just walk by faith and not sight. But it says here, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. If you require a vision to believe in Jesus Christ, then you're not, you're not walking by faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. But these charismatics, they constantly want to look at things that are seen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when charismatics accuse you of not having faith when you reject their, their uh, counterfeit signs and wonders, it's actually they who don't have faith, because faith is the evidence of things not seen. If you're having to see signs and wonders every single week at, on, on, at church on Sunday, you're not walking by faith. So it's really these charismatics are the ones who lack faith. Uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 17, For therein is, is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by signs and wonders. Nope. The just shall live by faith. 
That's what it says there. So the bottom line is that these charismatic visions of heaven are contrary to just walking by faith, not by sight. If you are an atheist and you needed a vision to get saved, because a lot of, a lot of these atheists will say, well, prove to me, I want to see God. You know, I want, basically they want signs and wonders instead of just walking by faith. These charismatics are no different than atheists. When you really get down to the fact that matter, they're wanting signs and wonders. They're just like the atheist who wants signs and wonders to believe in God. So the bottom line is, is that this charismatic movement are the spiritual descendants of the Pharisees and have the mentality of atheists. And these visions of heaven they supposedly have are not scriptural. And if they are seeing something, it's a demonic counterfeit of the scriptural visions of heaven, which Paul had, which again, he could not even utter. He wasn't able to utter anything he heard. But the bottom line is that this charismatic movement, when examined with scripture, does not line up. It is a false religion. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.